Hey, this is Edward Stinger from Videoplasty and in this video guide I want us to have a look at the Movavi Video Converter 2020 which is a very useful piece of software from uh, Movavi. And what I love about the Movavi software and their ecosystem in terms of uh, video software is that they provide solutions that are super easy to use and are incredibly affordable. So in this case we'll have a look at the Video Converter software well, which is going to come in handy in um, quite a lot of situations so right now if you look here on the bottom we can see a lot of different presets and formats available actually uh, they cover around 180 formats in terms of video audio and images which is more than you will ever need and for example, if you're either converting from a specific device or converting to a specific device, they also cover around 200 of the most popular devices, whether it's like your PlayStation or your Android phone or Samsung or iPhone or anything like that, they got you covered. And a super cool, useful feature is that in case you don't know the device of your, um, of your phone, for example, like the model, you can... Uh, plug it in connect it to your computer and if you use this button right here uh, which is called the device detection the software is going to automatically detect the best conversion settings for your device all right so now i want us to have a look at a couple of use cases and um, how you can convert certain files in um, the mobile video converter so i have a couple of files here ready so we'll start with something super basic which is uh an image right so we're going to look at this uh, jpeg file of a door and as you can see the rotation is not right so i will just drag and drop it here into the software and if i go here on the bottom i will navigate to images because let's say for example you have to send this somewhere or upload it on the website and uh, they don't allow jpeg format so in which case they suggest they, re they request you to use a png format so i will just go ahead and uh, select it from here on the bottom and as you can see the input is door jpeg and the output is going to be door.png and for quality you can uh, usually modify the settings but because this is an image you don't really have much control over that even further i will actually go and click on this button that says edit because i want to use this function that says rotate right so I want to rotate counterclockwise to make sure the orientation of my image is the correct one. You can also use this thing called before and after to see all the things that you have applied. So I'm happy with that. I'll just click save and close, apply, and uh, click this button right here that says convert. All right, so now as you can see, we have door.png here in the Movavi library folder. And if I open it, the orientation is the correct one. All right, now I want us to have a look at how we can convert a video into GIF. So for that, we will look at the video plus the logo animation. So as before, I will just drag and drop it here into the software. And um, you have to navigate here on the bottom to select the preset or the format that you want to use. In our case, I will select the GIF. And uh, let's see, I think I will go with... Yeah, let's go with large GIF. And it's as simple as that. It already applied it here. So uh, we can expect this uh, to be a 12 megabyte file, which is pretty large for a GIF, but it's still going to work. So let's see how easy that is. I have to be honest, that was probably the fastest GIF conversion that I've seen in my life. Uh, and I, I sell GIFs for a living, so I actually know what I'm talking about when it comes to GIFs. As you can see, the file size is not that large. It's only one megabyte, which is super nice. So let's see how this uh, logo animation looks like if we open it in a browser such as um, Safari. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Resolution is good, quality is super good, and uh, the conversion time was absolutely amazing. So I'm very happy about that. All right, now let's proceed and uh, have a look at what happens when you work with a video. Another cool thing that you can uh, use this software for, for example, uh, let's just drag and drop this here. 
This is uh, just a normal video of people dancing in the street. Let's say you really enjoyed uh, the music and you want to extract that. I mean, it comes in handy quite often if you're you know, a really big fan of the music from or, or the song from a video. Or maybe you just want to extract the audio from a podcast to do a transcript or anything like that. It's definitely possible and actually super easy to do. So again, I have the video here already and I'm going to go to on the bottom where it says audio. And of course, you have a lot of different options, but generally you will most likely be all right just by using MP3. Or if you want to go with like a super high quality audio, you can use a uh, WAV file as well. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, to be honest. But in this case, we'll just go with MP3. So you have a couple of different options with different bit rates, 128, 192. But unless you know what you're doing, I suggest you just stick to this one on the bottom that says original bit rate. So now, as before, super simple. I'm just going to click here on the bottom where it says convert. And almost instantly, I have this mp3 file, dance.mp3, which is just the audio from the video. So let's check it out. Yeah, super cool, super fast, and most importantly, super easy. All right, next, I'm actually going to use the exact same video as before, the dance.mp4. And let's say, for example, you want to submit this somewhere online and it don't allow MP4 for whatever reason. And um, in which case you need to use, for example, let's say MOV, right? So we're going to go here to video and um, let's see what options we have. There we, go. there we go. Right at the beginning, we have MP4, MOV, AVI and a lot of other very popular formats as well. But let's just go with MOV in this case and for preset. I'm going to go with HD 1080p and I'm super happy that it has a super speed feature as well, which means conversion is going to be incredibly fast. So now let's actually have a look at some of the other settings and changes you can do before you convert a video. So if you click on the edit button, we're back here on this uh, window where we were before. You can actually do a couple of things that you see here on top. So we already have trim selected here on top, which means, for example, let's say I don't like the part in the beginning. I'll just use this button right here. And now I will actually adjust the, oops, the selection. I will adjust the selection like this. And uh, when I'm done selecting it, let's say I want to remove it. I will just click this button right here that says delete. And as you can see, this disappeared. And now if I export it, it's going to export it without this part in the beginning. Another thing you can do is in case this is, for example, it's handheld footage, right? I mean, it is slightly shaky, but not too bad. If you want to stabilize it, just use this, um, this feature right here. It's going to ask you for a couple of settings. Uh, you're probably not going to get it right from the first try, which is uh, no problem at all. Just reset and try some different settings. And of course, always compare it to the before and after to see to see how good it looks. Next, you can also adjust the audio. For example, if you want to increase the volume, let's say, uh, I don't know, let's say the music is not loud enough, so you want to increase it a little bit. You can also normalize the volume and uh, if you have a recording, you can also remove some of the noise and adjust the noise level, right? And uh, if you don't like any of the changes you made, just click reset and you go back to scratch. Another one is adjustments. You can uh, obviously increase the brightness, increase the contrast, saturation and a lot of other cool stuff like that, which is pretty, pretty good stuff to use usually. You can also have some auto contrast or auto white balance. Of course, you know, always check and see if you're happy with how it looks. And if you are, then just proceed, just apply and proceed to the other adjustments you want to make. You can also add a couple of effects. Uh, they don't really have that many here, but if you can get a, you can actually get a lot more with the Movavi video editor. But in this case, let's just say you want to make it black and white add a bit of a vignette as well, 
and it already looks a lot lot better like a sort of I don't know, like an old film or something like that. I actually like how it looks. So uh, yeah, let's just apply that. In terms of subtitles, you can also add some sort of subtitles if you already have a um, .srt file or any other popular subtitle format. And if it's a sort of film, you can even look online and search for subtitles like that. And um, if you add them, it's just gonna hard burn them onto the video, which I think is super cool. Next, I want to show you, you can also add a watermark. So for example, let's just say video plasty. And of course, you can uh, modify the font. I'll just go with bold, make it a bit larger like that. Oops, it doesn't fit. Yeah, you can definitely do this if you want to protect your footage. Uh, so other people don't steal it or if they actually steal it, everyone will know where it's coming from. And yeah, you can also change the transparency like this. Maybe you don't want it like completely white. And uh, something like this on the middle of the video should be fine. And next thing you can do is you can crop the video. So for example, let's just assume you want to zoom in on uh, those two lovely people dancing. And uh, yeah, instead of uh, looking at the full picture. So let's just see. So before, oops. So this is how it looks after with uh, everything applied. I mean, obviously the watermark and everything else is um, not really in a good position, but you, if you want to crop it, you can definitely do it like this. I'll just apply it. And of course, you know, if you want to rotate the video, you can do that as well, like uh, we did with the image. But personally, I don't recommend you rotate videos like this because uh, nobody, nobody likes to watch a video vertically. Everyone prefers to look at videos like this horizontally. Uh, but if you want, you can also flip the video like this. I sometimes do that depending on the, on the video and if it actually works and nobody's going to notice. All right, so when it's all said and done and you're happy with all the adjustments and uh, settings you made, just click save and close. I will apply everything. And uh, now it's time to convert the video to, as you can see, the input is going to be dance.mp4. We added a couple of... Uh, edits that we made here and the output is going to be dance.mov so let's go ahead and do that now because i added a lot of effects and adjustments it's actually going to take a couple of seconds uh, on a test that i've done before without any sort of changes only changed the format it was literally instant which was impressive All right, so now it's done. It really didn't take that long. And let's see how it looks. As you can see, the crop, the watermark, the black and white filter, everything is there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how you use the uh, Movavi Video Converter 2020. As I said before, it's super easy to use. It's very user friendly. And it's part of the Movavi ecosystem of uh, video software that, as I said, are super affordable and incredibly user friendly. So check out the free 7-day trial that I have on the website. You can use the link below this video. And if you want to purchase this after the trial, make sure you use the code in the description to get 20% off from your purchase. All right, this was Eduard Stunga from Videoplasty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like the video and comment below and subscribe to this channel for more videos about video software such as this one. And I'll see you very, very soon.